Welcome to Northwest Fencing Center's Fencing Series on YouTube. This is Coach Michael McTeague and today we're going to be doing a short segment on armory. Specifically, what do I need to have in my toolkit when I travel to a tournament? When we travel to a tournament, we may or may not have armorers available to us when we're there. Or those armorers might be very busy checking in equipment and unable to help us with minor repairs. So it's a good idea to have something with us so that we can fix things right at the strip or in between pools and DEs and have our equipment ready to go. So there are a few things that we absolutely have to have in our travel kit and at the end we'll talk about a couple of things that are nice to have but not absolutely necessary and at the very end I'm going to teach you one clever little trick using one of those tools. So first thing we need is a bag to keep all of this in. Now I've gotten kind of funky with my bag because I put my own kit together and I'm having a lot of fun with it but the easy button is to go to one of the fencing supply houses and you can buy a bag that already has some of these things in it like a weight and tester and shims and then you can add to it the other things that we need. But why not have a little fun? It's not like we haven't got a little time on our hands at the moment. So what things must I have? Primary on the list, I need to have a test box. If I don't have a test box, I can't test anything. And before I leave on my journey, I want to make sure that the battery in it is good. The test box allows me to test my body cord, test my weapon, I can test it for weights, shims if it's an epee. I can also check for off-target issues if I'm working with a foil. Um, check my mass cords even. I can check everything with this box. It's not quite as convenient as what you'll find in your home armory at the club, but it does allow you to get the job done. So that has to go in there. I'm going to need to have a tip screwdriver. Whether I'm an epee fencer or a foil fencer, I have screws in the tip of my weapon. They need tightening. They need replacing. The tip may need to be taken apart. In a foil, I might have to take the tip apart and put a new spring in because I'm not passing weights. In epee, I may have to adjust my contact spring because I'm not passing shims or I might have to put in a new pressure spring because I'm not passing weight. This is going to allow me to take out those tip screws, make those adjustments and put them back in again, or simply tighten up loose tip screws or replace ones that have fallen out so I don't get a yellow card. That goes in my bag. I like to have a slightly larger screwdriver as well that fits into the fittings on my body cord. That's nice to have in case I need to make any on-the-job repairs with my body cord. I happen to use the NEPS screws. They require a special screwdriver. If you're using those, make sure that you have your NEPS screwdriver. If you want to get fancy, you can go online and you can find a NEPS screwdriver with a little cap. And you can put your spare tip screws in the handle of the screwdriver. Now, if I'm fencing epee or foil, I'm going to need to have a weight so I can check my weights. You can bug a referee to borrow his weights, but if you do, pick your timing. You don't want to make referees angry, especially if you're fencing right of way. In any case, you want to make sure you have a weight. Make sure it's got a label on it. Make sure everything's got a label on it. So I've got a weight. If I'm fencing epee, I need my shims. I have to be able to check to make sure I'm passing both the thick and the thin shims. And that has to go in there. And I'll make sure that's labeled too. I'm going to need to have some spare parts. I like to keep them in this little old zip tip box, but Ziploc bags work just fine. You're going to need to have pressure springs for foil or epee. You're going to need to have contact springs if you're an epee. You're going to need to have tip screws. Make sure they're the right size. 
make sure you've got the right thing. Don't go out of the door with epe tip screws and a foil in one hand. Make sure you've got the right stuff. I keep extra points in here as well in case for some strange reason I lost a point or a point actually breaks. They do break. Both foil and FA points can snap in half, have pieces come off of them. I make sure that I put contact springs in them and I leave those contact springs not screwed all the way down so that I can grab this, pop it in, tighten it up, adjust it, and go and spend a lot less time. And as I said, I like to keep all of this in this little box and the little box goes in along with it. Foil fencer, I want to have some tip tape. Again, if I'm maintaining my stuff and I put new tip tape on and checked everything out before a competition, the odds of my needing it are low. However, it might be a multi-day tournament or even summer nationals where you might be fencing four or even five events between team events and other things. Um, you might need some tip tape. Don't bring the great big roll. Bring the one that's got like maybe two or three tape jobs left on it and toss that in. Takes up less space. And that's your basic kit. Cover pretty much anything you need to do. Now, some extras. I like to bring a small wrench. In this case, it's a six millimeter wrench because it's for FA. If it were foil, it'd be a five millimeter wrench. And that's the size that goes onto the barrel of the tip of the weapon to tighten the barrel in case my barrel comes loose. And I also bring an adjustable wrench along that I can tighten up on the blade itself so I can hold the blade and tighten the barrel. Hold the blade, tighten the barrel, and I'm not going to have to worry about twisting the blade around as I'm trying to tighten it. Pretty handy to have. It's nice to be able to fix a little problem like that. And this gives you an extra little trick you can do. You'll notice that an adjustable wrench has a little hole in the end. It's primarily for hanging it from your tool board. But I went over into the bucket. And I pulled out an F.A. And you can see that this F.A. is not exactly straight. As a matter of fact, it's got a walk and great bend in it. You can see if I aim down the thing, you can see that bend in there. So, normally we just try and bend it out with our hands. But, there's a much better way to do it. It's a little bit easier and a little more accurate. And if you have a very, very sharp, cute blend bend in your blade, the thing I'm about to demonstrate is about the only way that you're going to be able to get that out without breaking the blade. If you have that sharp, whoop, you know, 70, 80 degree bend in your blade from whatever you just did or your opponent flashed at the moment you were lunging, and you try to take that bend out by just going like that, you're going to snap the blade. So you can take this and you can slide the tip into that. And I can bring this down. Let me get the angle right here. I can bring this down so that I have it where the bend is on the blade. And I can squeeze together. And I'm now putting the bending force right where I want to. And I can be very accurate, and I can go slowly, and I can bend a little at a time, and I can get my blade dead straight. A little bit easier than dragging the blade through your foot, more accurate and easier on your muscles than trying to do it with your fingers. And uh, when you have that really, really sharp, acute bend in a blade from a mistake, um, it's possibly the only way you're going to get that bend out without snapping the blade. So, that fits in my bag too. I got a working zipper on it. Everything's labeled, including the bag. And I'm ready to go to a tournament. So, be like a Boy Scout. Be prepared. Have all your stuff with you. And 
you will not wind up being embarrassed someplace having to grovel around to find somebody with a tip screw and a bag, bag of screws and a spring you can borrow and other sort of stuff. You'll have all your own stuff and that will be one more worry off your mind so you can concentrate on your fencing. Coach McTeague signing off again. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next week.